You may be familiar with air plants. They become rather popular among both collectors and people just looking to add a little bit of plant life to their home. They're very beautiful, versatile, and low maintenance. Air plants are bromeliads, meaning they're in the family Bromeliaceae. They're in the genus Tillandsia, and there are many species and varieties. They're also largely epiphytes, plants that generally grow on other plants without soil. This means that they need to get their nutrients from the air and water, and air plants do this using structures on their surface called trichomes. They're found in climates ranging from the rainforest to the desert desert in Central and South America. Air plants reproduce by flowering and then producing pups, usually a couple of months after flowering. These pups can be removed once they're large enough or left to grow as the mother plant slowly wilts back around it. Air plants like bright light, so should be kept in or very near a window. And because air is an important resource for them, they need good airflow. That means no sealed containers. You can use glass hanging orbs like this one, or you can use jars or bowls. You can even attach air plants to objects like driftwood using air plant glue or wire. Recommendations on watering vary, but generally two to three times misting or soaking per week is, seems to be the average. I mist my air plants two to three times a week with a spray bottle like this one and then soak them maybe twice a month. And if you're going to soak your air plants, you shouldn't really leave them in water for more than a couple of hours. And when you're not watering them, they should be kept dry. How much they need to be watered can also vary based on your climate. You can also fertilize your air plants. Though it's not vital, it will help them thrive a little bit better. There are special bromeliad fertilizers and just get one and follow the instructions on the product that you're using, usually about once a month is what's recommended. Air plants can be ordered online or possibly purchased from a local nursery if it stocks them. Half of my air plants are from a local gardening center and the other half are from an Etsy shop that I'll link down below. If you buy small air plants, you can do so really inexpensively and if you use containers you already have, it's a really cheap way to add some plant life to your living space. I've included links to a few air plant care guides in the description so you can get more detailed information on caring for your new plant friends. If you're interested in Brilliant Botany merch featuring air plants or a bunch of other designs, I've got links to that down below as well. I've got stickers and tote bags and zipper pouches and a couple other things that you can check out. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.